Uncle Oswald said that Merdy Walden was full of sunsets that day. So many ships coming up the Shangarn had been set aflame by the goblin hordes that they burned to the waterline in a row like a flock of fiery geese. Some leapt overboard and tried to swim to shore, only to be cut down by orcs when they arrived. Others clung to the hulking infernos and were inevitably consumed in the flames. The rest dropped into the icy deep, snowflakes off Death's shoulders as he shrugged over the dale. So many had died already in the attacks that the failure of the Luscan forces to arrive was but a sigh, a comma in what was to be a rather long story. Only a few small ships made it through to Targos, where my uncle was watching from the upper reaches of the town. Many villagers were too busy repelling enemies at the Palisade Wall to notice a few sad, sorry stragglers make it into the port. The sun burned behind the horde and cast a cloak of shadows over the heart of Targos and all within. It was into this shadow that uncommon mercenaries were thrust from Captain Hedron's ship, the Wicked Wench. Like many other mercenaries in the town, these few had come from Luskan. Unlike the others, their journeys would take them far beyond the rude palisades and bloody fields that lay ahead of them. Well, here you are, straight from Bremen to the scenic shore of Targus herself. Now that you'll be seeing the skeleton of the town you'll be defending, you sure you don't want me to take you back? Well, the ones the goblins didn't tear down, the people at Targos did. They're building a wall around the town, and they need all the lumber they can get. Damn wall won't keep the wind on, much less goblins by my tell. Well, there's not much to tell. But the dock here isn't the town. Targos is up in the cliff above. Mostly decent folk, but most of them have left for Bryn Shander. <laughs> well, last word is, my ma was still living here, so mostly decent folk, I. A regular harpy, that one. Unless you like cats, steer clear of her. And all the new mercenaries and swords haven't done much to help the town's colour either. No offence, man. Eh, well, I spend most of my time on the floor of the salty dog when I stay the night in Targos, which isn't often. With all the mercenary bands holed up in Targos, there may not be a place in town for you to rest. If the local inn can't put you up, just come back to the ship and I can spare a bunk or two for you to sleep on. Or, if you want, you could probably slip into one of the abandoned warehouses to catch some shot-eye. God knows I have after a long night at the Salty Dog. It's just off the dock. Step a yard or two to your left and you'll be at the dog's door. Just watch your step in there. It can get a little rough. Well, you'd want to be saying the lord of this place. Albrecht's his name. Good enough fella for a lord. Scale the cliffs to the main town. He's bound to be in one of the manors up there. Snag one of the locals. They can guide you better than I could. <laughs> you can thank me by not following foolish orders and coming back in one pace. As guests go, you've been saints aboard my ship. I got a place for you if you ever be needing it. Town seems a mite quiet, though. And Magdar, the harbor master, hasn't come to try and bleed a few coins from me for a docking fee. Watch yourself. Could be trouble in the wind. Agreed.
neighbor calls me.